Welcome to Defense Upcast, your weekly deep dive into the technology, strategy, and geopolitics shaping tomorrow's world. In the stillness of a Bangladeshi night, deep inside a military base, a convoy of heavy trucks slowly rolls out, their headlights slicing through the darkness as engines rumble across the field. Then, without warning, the silence breaks. Four blazing trails of fire streak upward into the sky, vanishing into the clouds, racing toward targets more than a hundred kilometers away. These are not ordinary rockets, they are guided precision weapons. The TRG-300 Tiger and TRG-230 multiple rocket launch systems built by Turkey's defense powerhouse Roketsan. And now they belong to the Bangladesh Army. This moment marks a turning point, a leap into a new era of long-range precision firepower and technological self-reliance. For decades, the Bangladesh Army stood as a resilient but largely defensive force relying on older Soviet-era artillery and conventional systems. But the world has changed, and so has the battlefield. Under the National Modernization Blueprint known as Forces Gold 2030, Bangladesh set out to transform its military into a modern, mobile, and networked force capable of responding to 21st century threats. The TRG systems are the product of that vision, a vision born not from aggression, but from the determination to protect sovereignty with precision. Through strategic planning, international collaboration, and a drive for technological parity, Bangladesh has entered the age of guided strike capability, and the results are both inspiring and formidable. At first glance, the TRG-300 Tiger looks like just another heavy truck, but beneath its steel skin lies the beating heart of a precision strike system that can alter the balance of power across South Asia. Developed by Turkey's Roketsan, the TRG-300 is a guided rocket launcher capable of striking targets more than 120 kilometers away, with pinpoint accuracy guided by GPS and inertial navigation systems. Each rocket carries a powerful high-explosive warhead designed to destroy enemy bunkers, radar stations, or armored convoys with devastating effect. Its smaller companion, the TRG-230, complements it perfectly, faster to reload, lighter to deploy, and ideal for shorter range tactical engagements up to 70 kilometers. Together, they create a dual layered strike capability, one for deep, strategic operations, and another for fast, responsive battlefield missions. But their true strength isn't just in their explosive payloads, it's in their mobility and intelligence. These systems can deploy, fire, and relocate within minutes. The shoot and scoot doctrine that defines modern warfare. By the time enemy radars detect the launch, the vehicles are gone, hidden, and ready to strike again from a new position. Each launcher is digitally linked to fire control computers, encrypted communication systems, and battlefield reconnaissance. Drones, forming a complete networked ecosystem of modern artillery. For Bangladesh, this represents more than new hardware. It's a doctrinal shift from static defense to dynamic deterrence. A message that in the modern era, precision and speed are the new symbols of power. When the first TRG-300 and TRG-230 systems rolled into active service, something subtle yet powerful shifted within the Bangladesh Army and across the region's military landscape. For the first time in its history, Bangladesh possessed the ability to strike strategic targets far beyond its immediate borders with guided precision, changing how potential adversaries viewed its deterrence posture. The roar of those rockets wasn't just a test. It was a declaration of capability. It gave the nation's soldiers a sense of technological pride and its policymakers a new layer of confidence. The balance of power in South Asia has long been shaped by conventional strength and political influence, but now Bangladesh's entry into the precision strike era adds a new dimension, one built on range, speed, and accuracy. These systems extend not only military reach but also psychological reach, signaling that the days of limited artillery response are over, yet with power comes responsibility and challenge. Guided systems require complex logistics, advanced training and real-time intelligence. To keep these weapons effective, Bangladesh must invest in its command networks, drone surveillance and digital targeting, because a rocket is only as precise as the data that guides it. Early field reports show that the Army is adapting fast, integrating drones, radars, and digital fire control into unified operations. This evolution marks a quiet but steady transformation from reactive defense to proactive preparedness. The TRG-300 and TRG-230 have not just expanded Bangladesh's firepower, 
they have reshaped its military philosophy. The arrival of the TRG-300 Tiger and TRG-230 systems marks far more than a simple arms acquisition. It marks the rise of a new chapter in Bangladesh's defense evolution. These advanced rocket systems symbolize a nation's quiet determination to stand strong, to modernize without losing its core principle of peace through strength. From the dusty testing fields of Turkai to the training grounds of Bangladesh, this partnership has forged more than firepower. It has built trust, technology transfer, and a shared vision for regional stability. Each launch now echoes not only across the skies but across history, carrying the message that modern defense is not about the size of an army but the precision of its mind and machine. For Bangladesh, the TRG-300 and TRG-230 are not weapons of war but tools of deterrence, a shield that assures peace by commanding respect. The future will demand continued training, maintenance, and adaptation, but the foundation is strong. What began as a procurement deal has become a symbol of national confidence, a testament to how far the country has come under the Forces Goal 2030 initiative. And as the sun sets over the artillery ranges, the echo of those rockets fades into the wind, leaving behind a silent truth, that Bangladesh has entered a new era, one where precision, partnership, and preparedness define its strength a future where the nation stands ready not for aggression but for assurance, ready to defend, ready to deter, and ready to rise.